Welcome to VBAR 1.1. Today I'm going to show you when I mount this VBAR on my electric Aurora helicopter. First of all, I'm going to mount the sensor. Uh, I put up Futaba tape on it. It's uh, not going to be needed, needing any, anything else because uh, this is an electric. So I use my uh, Lego piece again. I'll actually show you like this. And uh, just make sure I, I uh, uh, slide it against the Lego piece and make sure it has contact all the way down to when I have put it there with with the uh, with the tape. So uh, another thing, many people I've seen lately, and it's a bit disturbing, uh, using just regular double-sided tape on for mounting electronics. Uh, it's okay on an electric machine most of the time but I've seen it also on nitrous and sooner or later something will vibrate loose because if you have very stiff and maybe it's pulling on the cable all those vibration will sooner or later either uh, just uh, get the um, uh, cold solder inside or something but on electric it's okay to use as you can see here I use some uh, hot glue on the sensor underneath the sensor so this is firmly secured now so putting that there uh, when it comes to the servo connectors it doesn't matter really uh, if you put it wrong at this moment I'm gonna show you why because this swash plate layout which this helicopter has won't be the same layout as the manual uh, so you will have to change the order anyway when we look at the program so it do doesn't really matter what I'm gonna do is connect the satellites on the side here There we go, and all set. I'm gonna need to secure this wire. Uh, it's too much slack, so I'm gonna secure it here with a zip tie, uh, about an inch away from from uh, the sensor. It shouldn't pull on the sensor, and it shouldn't uh, be any slack, so it can flop around when when you fly. So I'm gonna actually secure it here, make sure it don't pulling the sensor in any direction. Okay, that's all for now.